Good morning. Welcome. It's uh, Tuesday, the 16th of November. I'm David Kern. It's uh, just uh, past uh, 8.30 a.m. Uh, overnight market action saw uh, market trade up quite strongly there, uh, at, uh, some 80 points or so. Um, <clears throat> then, uh, however, uh, it all came uh, crashing down as 10-year uh, uh, bonds were, uh, were sold off. This wasn't uh, taken particularly well by the markets. Um, there, there was a stream of other data, and um, we'll go over and have a look at that now. Um, Japan, <clears throat> some good numbers out there yesterday, which, uh, which we'll see in a minute. Saw the, uh, you know, the Nikkei push up quite nicely there. Um, GDP figures came in, coming in at uh, Q3, 3.9%. So, um, Pretty positive there, and then the numbers that had the Dow pushing up strongly was the uh, retail sales, uh, 1.2, so a better number than expected for October, suggesting that US consumers are starting to open their uh, wallets and purses again. But um, yeah, uh, the uh, Treasury issue there seemed to uh, bring that to an end pretty quickly. So let's have a look at the numbers now. Uh, Dow up just 9.39%, S&P 500 uh, down 1.46, and uh, the NASDAQ down 4.39, so all very, very small percentage moves there. Uh, in Europe, a uh, better picture with the FTSE up 0.41%, uh, the CAC count 0.86, and the DAX 0.82. And then um, that uh, Nikkei uh, performance here looking quite good. Uh, as I mentioned on the back of that Japanese uh, GDP data. Hang Seng, uh, not so good, down 0.81. And then yesterday we ended up closing down 4.7 after we uh, we moved uh, either side of, uh, of even throughout the course of the day. And uh, just looking at where the futures are pointed right now, not doing terribly much, pointing down 3. Hang Seng down 231 and the Nikkei up at level 40. Take a look at the commodities with uh, natural gas up uh, 1.5%, crude down 0.26, uh, coffee up 2, corn up 3.83. So we're seeing a bit of a recovery here from those strong sell-offs in the commodity space on uh, on Friday and uh, getting a bit of a, uh, a retracement here. Uh, wheat at point, up 0.42. Uh, sugar up 3.13, soy up 1.38, and oats up 1.99, rough rice down 2, and uh, wool down 1.67. Copper at uh, 390 cents per pound was up uh, three quarters percent. Uh, gold at 13.58 uh, was down 6.6, .6, and silver at 25. 0.48 was down 0.46. Now our currencies, the euro is buying 1.3586 US dollars, pound 1.6054, and the US dollar was buying 83.1520 yen, and the Aussie is buying uh, 98 and a half US dollars, and the US dollar was buying 1.0093 Canadian and 0.9849 Swiss francs. Take a look at the daily calendar now. Just mentioned those uh, US retail figures. I've also got some more data out of Japan. I've uh, got meeting minutes out of the RBA <coughs> coming up to 11.30, excuse me. Uh, machine tool orders a little bit later on this afternoon out of Japan. USA <coughs> economic sentiment. Uh, consume CPI data out of the UK at 8.30 our time. That's year on year. Fairly significant number there. And then more Eurozone uh, CPI data out through to the uh, or out at 9 p.m. tonight. Take a look at the Falcon Trader and 
one of the uh, newsletters from GT Financial has been talking about Bundelara. And uh, just looking at it here, it looks, uh, looks quite attractive here, but certainly if it pulled back to this uh, um, interim trend line here for a move higher, so we could have a stop loss. We know we're wrong if it breaches this interrupted trend line and look for a take profit target up near this uh, this recent high of the high of earlier this year. Um, just following up on a couple of other trade ideas here, um, Gladden continues to look quite good. We do like the uranium uh, space and uh, yeah that's continuing to move higher here. Um, Bannerman, similar story. Uh, that break out there and continuing to move higher there as well. Okay, you can see that we've got a little bit of momentum starting to roll over here on the slow stochastic for the Aussie dollar. So um, probably uh, can expect that we're not going to push too much higher here in the in the short term. Um, have a look at the uh, local index. Okay, I think if we can continue to hold around these levels, we um, it might be okay for a continuation. Uh, if not, then we're probably down to this uh, this last level here, around uh, 4,600, and uh, we then move move upwards there. So a bit of a, a uh, retracement there on these uh, highs at 4,800, perhaps. Okay, and we'll take a quick look at our demo account performance. Now this is based on the VectorVest top four picks in each of the four markets that are addressed by the uh, by the system, or at least in my login. So that's Hong Kong, the US and Australia. And so we're looking here for the Hong Kong stocks. In fact, it's one of these Hong Kong stocks here that's, uh, that's the laggard, uh, currently off 8%. And of course, if we see that come off any further, it will hit our stop loss at 10%. We're running take profit orders at 15%. And uh, except on these uh, US ones here, we're running those run with the trailing stop pulling behind. So you can see that in the last two or three weeks here, we've had a great result out of Fossil and um, Medusa Mining. And um, you know, really very good runs out of M2 and RPC, and uh, not too bad runs out of Dream, Dream International, Great Wall Motor Company, and Acurex. So um, that about finishes up the uh, morning AM debrief. Thanks as always for your attention. Uh, speak again soon. Bye for now.